In this video, we're going to explore the main functions of Fourscore by looking at the icons across the top menu bar. Beginning with the top left, we have libraries. You can create as many libraries as you need to organise your scores. Next along is bookmarks, a very useful function if you have a large file or a large book. For example, a musical theatre score. If you have a number of cues within that score, it's possible to get to them very quickly by creating a bookmark. You would do this by clicking plus, put the start page number of the cue and then the end page number of the cue and give it a title. Then this information becomes searchable and you can apply it to set lists. Which brings me across to the third icon, set lists. Definitely a function I use the most in Fourscore. Obviously, you can create as many for uh, as many set lists as you like, but th these can be placed into folders. Very, very useful. Again, if you are a member of more than one band, as an example, or you teach in different organisations or have multiple students, uh, a highly useful feature. This next icon along, including the one to the right here of the data, have a small arrow. If we long press, you will see this menu, which brings up a range of functions. And that's because these buttons are assignable. I have this set so that buttons appears when I click here, which will allow me to do things like set a change tempo uh, button or metronome or play, pause audio, send MIDI data, that kind of thing. Very, very useful. In the centre is the data regarding the score. So, of course, we've got all the obvious things here. It is possible to change some of these labels here. So you could change genres to be something else if that was more useful. And then at the bottom here, we have a range of different information, again, regarding the score and where the score lives. So, for example, here under layout, we have information about the amount of time we've spent in this score and how many views it's had, which set list it belongs to. And we can also embed audio in this file as well. So whether that comes from iTunes or indeed Fourscore itself, uh, there are a range of options available here. Also MIDI data, MIDI, MIDI information can be assigned to this score and also we can see which libraries it's part of. I have this right hand button here set to crop because it's one of the features I find most useful. The great advantage of having a digital library is the ability to carry hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of scores with us. And of course, it, they are most useful when they can be found at the touch of a button. And this is the button that we would touch, and it's the search icon. So bringing up the search, and if I was to type in, say, Adele here, then I am going to see all of the files, and not just the files, that have Adele as a word within that, that particular file or metadata. Because you can see here that it's brought up uh, a song by Adele, with Adele, of course, in the title itself, but also has identified that Adele has been tagged as a composer at some point. Moving along to this icon is our metronome. Now, the metronome function is very, very useful, and I will go into some detail in a later video regarding this. But as a quick overview, um, we are able to have a click that we can hear, that we can see. If you look at the outside uh, edges of the page, you'll see it's winking and blinking. And of course, it's possible to have both happen at the same time. Within, within this feature, there is also the ability to play a sound and hear a pitch or, or to present a, a pitch and of course to tune. So you can see there it's picking up the sound of my voice, uh, but I would normally have that set to metronome. And then on the far right hand side, we have the infamous briefcase, a settings icon, which has a range of different features that will allow you to apply changes to the uh, the app overall. So <clears throat> for example down here under settings we have a range of different things about the way that uh, gestures work, that transitions work, um, applying different themes so that's different colours uh, and so on and so forth but we will explore that in a later video. I hope that this overview has been useful and I will see you next time.